This is the world's longest spinning Lego Beyblade. Well, I guess only as far as I know. Uh, but before we give it a spin, let's break it down. If you want to make something that spins long, just look at the world's longest spinning non-motorized top. As you can see, it's got a very large circular base at the bottom and a sharp low tip. For bays, we don't need that top part for hand spinning it, uh, since we have a launcher, but we still need to keep the other components. So for the tip, obviously a sharp tip, like for really, really hard launches, this is probably going to be the best for pure stamina. And then you need the circular outer weight distribution. As we know, metal is basically the best and you need to have just a circle, solid circle like this to minimize air resistance. Even the tiniest amount of it could drastically decrease the spin, which is why I haven't added anything on top of these studs up here. So now that we're done with that, let's get to actually launching it. Three, two, one, light it. Rip. That wasn't that good. Wow, that was really good. All right, so that last launch was actually a pretty good example of how just a little bit of unbalanced, as you can see by the wobbling there, uh, can make it a huge reduction in time. So I just changed it to this one in hopes that there is less imperfection in this bin. All right, so that was my try at making the longest possible spin for a Lego Beyblade. So in the end, I went with this um, harpoon thing on the bottom uh, with a circle here. But I promised yesterday that when I was trying this, I got four minutes and like 10 seconds uh, with one of these, even though we only got like three and a half minutes here. Uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later and Lego Bays out.